This is my real spot suit. Throw something in a portal and it'll come out another. We've also got portal rooms and a bunch of other spot portal tech in real life. Because after seeing spot and across the spider verse, I just got so curious if anything like this is actually possible. Turns out teleportation is real today. Scientists have actually been able to teleport an atom over 1400 kilometers using quantum teleportation. They first start out with two particles and link them in this entangled state. Think of it like these two dice. Then they separate these particles as far as they want in theory. Then by measuring the state of one particle, it breaks the entanglement and the other particle will show that identical state no matter the distance. Basically, we roll one die and instantly know what the other one will roll. So that information was teleported instantly. But perhaps the closest thing to a spot portal is a wormhole. We used to think that space was just a big fixed area where things happen. But relativity says that space isn't fixed and that the things inside space, you know, planets, stars, black holes, actually warp space itself. It's kind of like if we put a ball on this cloth. As you see, the gravity of this planet actually warps space and causes attraction from other objects. So if we had enough mass, we might be able to warp space so much that it connects to somewhere else. And we might be able to skip over to another place in space and time. But let's first start simple and use some physics that's actually been proven. This is my first attempt. As you can see, it looks like I have a portal directly through the center of my body. All you need is two tablets linked together, one in the front and one in the back. I left cutouts for their cameras and added a black border to make it look more like a spot portal. Can't seem to find my web shooters, but I think I have an idea. What are you holding in your hand? A bagel. Swing, just like. Why does your bagel look like my web shoot? Available now at jlizardvideo.com. Was that your bagel? That was the cream cheese. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, good thing these things are indestructible. Your portal has a running out of time limit. <laughs> you didn't pay for premium portal access. Actually makes for a great Halloween costume, which I think Mark Rober did like a while back. It's even possible to make this look 3D with some clever eye tracking software and a special lens. Check out my Harry Potter invisibility cloak for more on that. So after thinking about it though, I think we kind of missed the target. Spot portals, they're supposed to be black. So you shouldn't actually be able to see through this. So we need to make something that still looks black, but you can stick your arm through and it looks like it's actually coming out of the portal instead of just looking in like this Ooh. you don't actually have to teleport an object just the light to make it look like you teleported an object so I built this teleportation box it's all about perspective Zach come on further further <laughs> dude it actually looks wild Its secret is a few well-placed mirrors that reflect the image of whatever you stick in one end out the other, which gives the effect of teleportation. It's like you have water that tastes flavored, but it's actually just water. It's all a trick. And this bottle from Air Up does just that. It actually hacks your senses to deliver flavor using only smell. Like how a portal box tricks your eyes. When the water travels through the straw, the air bubbles hit the scent in these natural flavor pods and carries it to create taste. But all you're drinking is ordinary water. Just like in our portals, no CGI here, just mirrors. Which if you think about it, really do look like portals. It's even possible to change only the reflection. This piece looks different in the mirror because of its unique geometry. It seems to change shape depending on how you look at it. This could make a mirror portal look like a whole new space. It really is all about perspective. But all the methods so far have the same problem. Like you can't actually interact with the portal. It's, it's all visual. So this is the Star Trek transporter. It's a machine that digitally scans every atom of a person, transmits the data, then reconstructs that person on the other side. Basically instant light speed teleportation. So this is my home homemade spot teleporter. Haven't tested it yet, it's never worked. We need to find something to teleport. Maybe like one of these wood chips or something. Perfect. This will be the first thing to ever be teleported. You just kind of reach into his chest, don't mind me. Yeah, ooh, feels weird in there. It should be teleporting. Hopefully it'll end up all the way across the room without me doing anything. It works by first digitally scanning the object you put in the portal, which normally requires a lot of user input, but this is a teleporter, so we gotta make it as fast as possible with no interaction, which means writing code to automate everything. Testing this out. Can we scan this and have the computer completely do it automated? And it messed up. I eventually got it working, and now we have a digital scan of our object. That is our scan right there. Now we gotta send and reassemble it on the other side as fast as possible. And I think today the fastest reassembling gadget is some sort of 3D printer. Some can even print in different materials, including organic cells, to actually print living things. But for this spot portal machine, I'm gonna prioritize speed. And oh my god, there are some fast 3D printers. Well, I got the fastest one I could find. That's pretty, oh my God. Can't even keep focus of moving so fast. 
moving faster than I can see it. Now I just gotta write a bit more software to automatically upload the scan file, and boom, we have a teleporter. Sending to the other portal. Send it, teleport it. Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. Didn't touch anything. Follow me across the room. Let's see. Let's see what we got. For what it is, it's pretty solid. It would have been impossible to CAD something like that and it and it teleported. Obviously not 100% detail. I'm gonna try and clone my hand now. You just gotta rotate it around a little bit too to get like the full scan. It feels weird. I am shaking my own hand. Damn, wait, that looks so realistic. Does it look pretty trippy? Yeah, they got the creases in your hand. Oh, the knuckles. Quick glance, that could easily be my hand. That could easily, yep. Actually, the fact that we're holding this shouldn't actually happen. This should, this should never happen. Technically, we have a cloning machine. And if you've ever seen the movie The Prestige, you know what I'm talking about. Two rival magicians try to create the best trick, which leads one to get Nikola Tesla, the real magician, to build a teleportation machine that scans and replicates whoever steps in. The catch, it's actually a duplicator like ours. So every time he uses it, he has to kill his other self over and over again. Pretty big issue with this method. Like you could make infinite copies of yourself and then the moral issue is, is that really you? Either way, this is Piranha Solution. Anything organic you put in completely disintegrates in a matter of seconds. So you know, we won't have any pesky clones hanging around. Now when we put an object in, it gets scanned, uploaded, then swept into this vat and disintegrated. Then the freshly teleported object comes out the other side. But for it to be practical though, you know it's gotta teleport faster than other travel methods like driving. So we put one portal here at the shop and the other in my garage at the house. Now let's see if the spot portal can deliver a donut faster than we can. Donut going in? Donut. Oh, we gotta go. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, love you guys. Turn, 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 yes. Burning rubber, baby. Whoa! Oh, my God. Dude, there's a skateboarder that's going just as fast as us. Look, he's passing us. All right, all right, pass him, pass him, pass him, pass him. Woo! Buddy, oh, shit! Drop, drop, shit. <laughs> shit. Come on, come on. What's up? Come out of gas. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Who runs out of gas? Wait, we, are you getting... <laughs> I'm gonna fix this problem. <laughs> wait, wait. What the f... <laughs> wait, wait. What? Wait, what the f... What? Get in. Get in the car. <laughs> where the did car. you... Where did you get this? Get in the car. <laughs> what? We gotta go. Wait. We gotta go. Oh my... Oh my god! Go, let's oh go. Oh my god. Oh my yeah. god. You got a Lambo for yeah. this? Yeah. Well, like, all right, it's not technically my Lambo. The point is, yes, we have a Lambo right now. Finish <laughs> this one, bro. I'm actually terrified. <laughs> No. Look in there. Oh, dude. Oh. You hate to see that. Dude. Put up a good fight. Wait, sorry, did you take a bite out of it? I was hungry, all right? Yeah. Like, At least we brought him our other donut. <laughs> no way. I can really see like the bite mark. Any closer, we would have won. It has a set amount of time for the replication. Yeah. It takes us time to travel too. This travels at light speed. So like it any further, it smokes us. Any closer, we probably smoke it. In all honesty, our teleporter isn't anything new. You can't actually teleport, only replicate models of stuff. So it's really only practical for like super select things. Like if you forget your keys or a puzzle piece or something like that. But the proof of concept with better printing and scanning tech is absolutely something to look forward to. And hopefully one day I'll actually be able to use or build a teleporter like that. Until then, I've got a much simpler approach. This is Vanta Black, one of the darkest paints in the world, absorbing 99% of visible light. And this is Muso Black, which absorbs 99.4% of all light. This means you don't see any shadows or details when this stuff is painted on. Like the whole thing just looks like a black shadow. 3D objects look 2D. It's the perfect thing to hide a portal. So this is a wall of portals. Some don't go anywhere, some of them do, but as you can see, it's nearly impossible to tell the difference. Just like you can't tell flavored water 
versus air up water. Killing these transitions today, guys. 15 different flavors, guys. Again, no calories, no artificial sweetener. It's just water. If you want the flavor, just pull up on it. If you don't, just press it down. That simple. Even just having one of these bottles around helps me drink more. You know, stay hydrated while we're making all these portals. I even made myself a little custom Muso black bottle too. Go check out AirUp, link below. Use my code JLASER for 10% off all orders. We're gonna put Muso black to the test. We're out here to see if people can spot our portal. We've got 10 fake ones and one real one. Hey, you guys wanna be in our video? You wanna be in our video when it's one through 10? If you, you guys wanna guess a portal? All you have to do is guess one through 10. You guys wanna just guess one through 10 and win some money if you get it right? You wanna be in our video, sir? If you guess one through 10, you win some money? They're already gone, they're already gone. I think I lost my money too. <laughs> Yeesh. It's harder than I thought. Here, let's see if this kid. Nine. All right, let's see. When it calls. Excuse us. No, no, no. Can't, What's up? He's, not, he's illegally out here, guys. He cannot operate out here. Why? We are getting kicked out though somehow yeah. already. It was literally the first one. He looks like he might hit you first. Please do. I'll dodge him and he'll go through my portal. <laughs> six. Six? All right, let's see. It's not six. It's actually three. Close though. Close. It's difficult. Uh, six. Six? It's actually three. That was close. Not bad, yeah, yeah. No one's getting it, dude. This is proofs. The Muso Black. It works. Zero money so far, and I've bet thousands. Whichever one you think the real one is. Number three. Number three? All right. Oh! Yeah, you won. Here you go. Right, thank you. Yeah, have a good one. I got a little too cocky there. See if yeah. someone actually got it right. All right, we need a crowd of people. There's fake ones and there's also real ones. All right, number 11. All right, that's a fake one. We back in it. They can't tell. You got to you got to be back here though. 4? 4. All right. Four. Not, not quite it. Not quite it. Close though. Wow, that guy got really close and he still couldn't tell. All right, 7. We got a 7. It's not 7. Not seven. That was a group who, and they, they guessed three different things. They guessed three different things. None of them got it right. Any others? Eleven. Three. Nine. Not nine. Not eleven. Not six. But show me three. Whoa! Let's go. You guys get it. Sorry for the rest of you. Clearly, this is a great way to make hidden spot portals. So this is my giant portal room. Basically, the small portal wall, but turned to the max. If you all remember that spot portal world from the movie, like. This is basically that. Like each of these portal tubes connects to somewhere else. The trick is you never know which one. Like see if you can guess. Did you get it right? If you've ever seen those mail tubes, we basically use a similar vacuum system that sucks up objects and uses their momentum to shut off the vacuum so they come out of the portal. So the vacuum provides suction until the ball gets sucked in and pushes these bars, which slide to shut off the air supply and open the exit. Then using Muso Black with super reflective white paint, we get these high contrast portals that look like floating holes in a world of white. It's wild going from the regular room to the portal room, especially with the spot costume. It just blends in so well. <laughs> Coming at you. Oh, oh my. That was right down. Really? I can't do anything about that. We also added the lights to the portals. So when you go through it, it really looks like some sort of wormhole. Check this out infinite portal loop. Even portal bowling. <laughs> Just gotta watch out for those pesky floor portals. But we still haven't really done spot. Like, his portals don't work. So let's take everything we've learned and make the best spot suit yet. We first started with portal tubes from the arm to the stomach with a fake hand and some muso black. Now whenever spot tries to catch something, it comes out his chest. Next, I added in the visual aspect from the first two designs. Now when you hit spot with something, it instantly pops out the face portal, just like in the movies. You can actually throw things in his face portal too. <laughs> oh, that was sick. The secret is this camera screen system we put halfway on the portal. So when you put something in the stomach, it looks like it extends out the top of the portal. But inside the stomach, there's a black and white background for the camera, which gets displayed on the head portal screen to really sell the effect. We've also got both arm tubes and a head tube, so you can literally throw things at Spot's face and hands, and it all comes out the stomach. Trying to bullet pin now, Zach. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, it looks like it's going through you. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Give him a good J. 
Let me know if you've got an idea for a portal or anything I missed and comment what I should make next.